Now, although I'm talking about Hornby versus Lionel, that's because I live in the UK and I bought something that was sold under the Hornby name. But basically what I'm talking about is original Lionel sold as a G scale train set versus the newer Lionel uh, with slightly better packaging sold as the ready to play train set. I'll point it down to there. Uh, so when I'm talking about Hornby, assume that it's just the same as the new version of the Lionel Hogwarts Express, Express which is the garden scale. They even at one uh, time tried to suggest it was gauge one. Well, side by side, they look very similar. So I think quite a lot of the plastic moulding has been reused. Let's start with the loco. Uh, the light on the front is still in the same place. Um, similar printing on it. Uh, similar rivets. Slight difference here. Rivet distance is in a slightly different place. So I, I think there's a, a minor change there. I don't know why they've done that. The uh, safety valves are different. This is a push button to start it, and that is a slide switch for on off. Now, the major change is that the batteries on the newer Lionel stroke Hornby are inserted in the loco, and so you need a tool, a screwdriver, to open that to get to the battery compartment. There is also, if you can see it in the middle there, a light in the cab. So that's a new addition, but there is, be, possibly because of the battery, less foot plate area to stand uh, a driver. So on the older version, we've got quite a bit of foot plate. On the newer version, very little foot plate indeed. Because the batteries are in the tender on the older G-scale version, this lid removes so you get access to the batteries. On the newer version, it's all one solid piece. And then the other major change, obviously there's wire because the batteries are in the tender, no wire needed, but we have the hook and loop couplings. I was dismissive of these knuckle couplings, which were non-operational. And so with hook and loop couplings, I don't think they're intended for any sort of shunting operations. It's just a different way of coupling things together uh, because I don't think there's any way you would get that easily coupling up uh, one to another. But easier to couple, perhaps, than having to take it off the track. The coach bodies look very similar. Uh, but then it's when we turn it over we notice the difference. A couple of differences. Oh, th let's come to the um, handsets. That's the original Lionel handset. Lionel branding. And soft rubber inserts for the grip. The newer handset with the central button for the music or sounds which is available on a version of this Starlight Express Christmas Train. If you get those ones you'll find there's a button for the music. Uh, all very similar moulding but if you turn it over two minor differences. One is this compartment you can just open and close and change the batteries on this one, you've got to use a tool to open it. And here's uh, a, a Hornby branding in terms of the label or the printing on here. Hogwarts Express, ready to play. But it says imported by Hornby Hobbies Limited and it has the model number on there. Uh, let's just use the manuals. The manual's a little bit bigger, thicker on the Lionel one, the older original Lionel. And the new one is less thick. So what we've got is number on the older one, 71, 1080, 250, 7 stroke 10, which is probably the date, 2010. This one, 71, 1960, 250, 320. Okay. And um, Lionel branding throughout. Not a lot of information about how to clip the track together in there. 
So first of all, you need a tool to install your batteries, which I need to go and get. But before I go and sort that out, if you look underneath on here, then what we see is the motor block looks very similar with what looks like a cover for the cog that drives the rear wheels. Yep. And here's another little bit of Hornby branding, a label stuck onto the front pony truck. Now, the wheels are completely different. These are neat, narrow wheels run on G-scale track. These are chunky, much thicker profile wheels for this uh, play track that they're using. Uh, and on this one, the speaker must be in the back. Here, I've just noticed the holes, some holes down there, which are probably to allow the sound out from the speakers. The speaker's probably underneath there. But it looks like the motion is similar on each one. Oh, wait, maybe not exactly the same. Slight differences in the motion, but not a lot of difference. That's interesting. Anyway, there we go. Just an interesting difference there that I notice. Uh, nothing major. So you can see the differences there. Um, they've had to remodel some of it to get that coupling to fit inside there. So the major difference here is the wheels. Completely different. Then if you turn this over and that one over, Again, the major thing we'll see, different apart from the coupling, is thinner wheels. This is not a traction tire, it's dirt picked up off the track by the plastic wheels. Uh, and on that one, thicker wheels. And we'll see what's involved. And I'm going to assume that we see the same looking under the coaches. Actually, not so much difference in the wheels. Okay, so apart from the gauging, uh, there might not be much difference in the wheels, which I'm pleased about on that. So the coaches, which is the prompt for getting it, and I'll attempt to regauge those first. Here the coupling is fixed onto the bogey. And there, that bogey appears to be assembled a slightly different way around in terms of where the screws are. So, don't know what else there is to cover. Obviously it'd be nice to put batteries in and see it going. Um, the regauging of this and trimming of the wheels is going to be a job that uh, I won't be doing instantly. Don't know how long it will take me. But I'm thinking I will maybe just do a quick review of the sound of the two uh, and then uh, move on to re-gauging the coaches so that I can run a four coach train. Well I've uh, swapped the C cells out of here and put the rechargeable battery back and put the C cells into there. I thought first of all I'd see if the newer controller will work the older train. Now you'll notice it, this newer one doesn't come with an antenna. So the likelihood is that uh, this is operating on a different frequency. Uh, it's got an internal antenna. It doesn't say anywhere anything about that. Now, uh, so that is just in its idling position with the clanking noises. And none of these work that. If I put that on, we know what we get from that one. Okay, I'm not going to run it. So, first time, let's try turning this on. Whoops. Uh, this one. Okay, so that's a slightly different pause noise. Single ding of the bell per button push. I think the sound is louder. 
for louder sounds. And I don't know what will happen if I turn the other control. But let's try the music. Now, uh, you train these in 10 minutes. Here's your ticket. Stick to it, Harry. That's very important. Stick to your ticket. Okay. But Hagrid, there must be a mistake. This is platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing. Is there? Now, uh, you train these in 10 minutes. Here's your ticket. Stick to it, Harry. That's very important. Stick to your ticket. But Hagrid, there must be a mistake. This is platform nine and three quarters. There's no such thing. Is there? It sounds like there are only two random uh, announcements. Yeah. Okay. Off. A couple of other minor things. Um, looks like there's something extra down the trumpet-shaped thing there. The I've not left this out in the sun much, but the transfer on the side is much more. Uh, colourful and clear on there. Similarly, the transfer on the coaches uh, is upside down because I've just been comparing other things. Um, blanked out windows, but minor things. Okay, so there it is. That's as far as we get in terms of testing the loco uh, functionality. That means there's two separate controllers. We'll control them independently. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, and that's as far as we go with this video. I will do a completely separate video. This is going to stop this one. It's been too long talking about wheel re-gauging and running of four coaches behind the original Lionel Loco.